All right, folks, now we're going to play Animix. Now, the last game was is clearly a game for kids, although adults can play it, obviously. This game is could be for kids, but also can be played with adults. In fact, you can play this with up to six players. And so this one's a little tricky to explain, so we're going to set it up first, and then we'll explain how it works. So uh, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to, we're going to pick animals. So we're playing a three-player game of this. So in a three-player game of this, we're going to use four different species of animals. And I believe there is there is eight different ones to pick from. So we'll, we'll play twice and we'll use four of them in one and four in the other. Now, we're just gonna randomly, um, we're gonna randomly pick four animals, okay? And then we'll use the other four for the next game. Because the animals will lines? score in different ways. All right, so first animal will be the penguins. Oh, great. Second animals will be the pelicans. Third animal will be, we already have penguins, so we'll leave them out. Um, okay. <laughs> Monkeys and chameleons. All right, so let me find the rest of each of these. So we're going to use all the animals of each of the types. Um, I don't know why wolves are out. You're right, sorry. We just, so just go in there and close the door. <laughs> <laughs> yes, Jimmy, it's amazing how doors can work. <laughs> no, no lovebirds in this game. Yeah. Lovebirds suck. All right. No, they don't. Elephants. Monkeys. Pelicans. I think I got it right here. So then we can just use the other half of the deck for the next one. Alrighty. Okay, so what we're going to do here, folks, when we play Animix, is we're going to make a grid of cards in the middle of the table. But before we do that, we're going to give out, um, we're going to put them in a grid here, and that grid is going to be four by five, four rows by five columns. So here we go. There's going to be five columns, so one, two, three, oh wait, I can make them face me. I keep forgetting that. Three, four, five, so we're actually going to put them down here, because this is the main, so we have five columns. So one, two, three, four. That's perfect. Okay, great. Now what we're doing here is we're going to be trying to control each of the animals. Each animal that we control is going to be worth points. Um, and they're going to be worth points in different ways. Then we're going to get six cards each. These are secret cards. We're not going to share the knowledge of them with anybody else. Three, four, five and six. The remaining cards, there's two of them, are out of the game completely and we won't use those. Now, what we're going to do on your turn, there's going to be six turns in this whole game. It's a very quick game. You are either going to take a card from your hand and play it face down in front of you. You want to do that because the more cards you have in front of you of a certain animal type, and this is Animix by the way, Roy, um, uh, the, uh, the, the more animals, if you have the most of an animal of a certain type, you will score for that animal on the board. So all these animals are going to score based on how they're in this pattern. But you have to have the most. If you're tied with someone else, you'll split the points. Um, so one thing you do is place a card down in front of you. Another thing you can do is you can take a card from the grid and place that one in front of you. Then put one of your cards there in its place, face up, of course. And then you'll put a mountain on that to show that that one can no longer be moved for the remainder of this game. Those are the two options. We'll do those. Uh, we'll do each of those that six times, and then we're going to score. Whoever has the most animals of each type will score for that type, and each animal is going to score differently. So for the monkeys, they're going to score. You're going to find the column that has the most monkeys in it. So right now it's this column, and each of those monkeys is two points. So right now monkeys are worth four. For pelicans, you're going to find the biggest interconnected group of diagonal. So here we would have three. That's the biggest group, and get two points for those. So pelicans right now are worth two, four, six. For penguins, it's the same thing, but orthogonally, which means not diagonal. 
Um, so here we have one, two, three next to each other. So the penguins are worth six points. And the chameleon will give you points for different animals next to it. Whichever one an chameleon is the most, and that would be this chameleon here, because he's next to one, chameleon cats, two, three different animals. So this chameleon is worth six points. Everyone understand? Mm -hmm. Alrighty. Mm -hmm. um, and who goes first? Randomly do a start play. Let's do rock, paper, scissors. Ready? Rock, paper, scissors, shoot. Okay. All right, so here we go. So you can put a card down in front of you, or you can replace one from the grid. Okay, can this be the order? No, it cannot be the order. It's always <laughs> clockwise, and you're always last. <laughs> you will never know what it is. That's correct. I am actually going to take... Uh, I'm going to take this penguin here. And I'm going to put a monkey there. That monkey mm. cannot be moved. So I increase monkeys, but and I also put, um, basically I bought a stock of the uh, the penguins. All right, but see, Violet just put a card down in front of her. I don't know what she put. I could look at it and cheat, but I don't know. While the, because I did what I did, which was it gives me more control over the game, but also allows everyone to know what I took. All right, your turn. Okay. Just putting a card down in front of you. Your turn. Those Hang on, it's my turn first. Get out. I'm going to take this monkey here and put a penguin there. So you're just putting cards down. We don't even know what Ruby's doing. Go ahead. Why are you ruining my... Uh, do not like that, Sam, I am. Yeah. All right, I... See, I would love to take that monkey card right now, but I cannot because there's a mountain token on it. Instead, I will take this pelican here and replace it with a pelican. <laughs> There, no. is, there is strategy in that that I can't think of. <laughs> your turn. I was saving that pelican. So you're taking a monkey and replacing it with, oh. Yeah. I do like that. All right, your turn. Okay. I'm ruining the hole. <laughs> that was pretty jerky there, child of woe. I'm just putting a card in front of me. Your turn. Okay, your turn. I'm gonna take this chameleon and play pelican. Mmm. 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 Why are you like this? Too bad we were the pelican. I want you to lose. That has been my motto, motto ever since I was a child. You are still a child, just to I clarify. Mean, I... Yes. Ever since she was a baby. She just... Really? Since you were a baby? I thought you'd love me when you were a baby. <laughs> Who says? OK, go. Go. All right, so. We're going to score them up each real quick, so we'll just pick one. So we'll start with the monkeys. Monkeys score six points. Who has how many monkeys? I have one. Two. None. All right, so Ruby has six points. I have two minutes. All right, easy enough. And then the chameleon, this chameleon gets the maximum points, so eight points for the chameleon. How many chameleons? Four. Ah! Oh. <laughs> Well, I had two, but you get eight points. All right, so eight points, six points. Next, we have penguins. Penguins score two points. And I got two. I, I got two. one. All right, so you guys split one point each. So you have nine 
And you have seven. Seven. And I have zero. <laughs> the Pelicans have two diagonal, so that is four points. Anyone else have Pelicans? I have one. I have two. So four for me. So four, <laughs> seven, nine, Violet wins. That's the whole game. I won again. You won yesterday. Take that. All right. Well, let's play now with the other four animals. This is pretty easy when, with this with this particular group. I don't, I'm curious why we didn't do penguins yesterday. They're pretty easy. Well, they are. I mean, all the animals are easy. And if you play, and you can play up to six players with this, folks. And if you play with more players, then you simply just add more animals and make the grid bigger. But we're playing with three people, which is the minimum number you can play this with. Now oh no, I'm sorry. Lions. No, it's not. Two players is. With two players, you would have a. You play with uh, three animals and four by four. But with six players, you play with seven of the eight animals and play with a six by six. So it's a much bigger thing. Um, so these are just four different animals. And of course, you can, you'll can you change the game up. No, not lovebirds. There. I'll ruin all your lines. What was that? All right, here we go. Here's the grid. We got elephants. So elephants here, folks. Kirby, it's you. The They're my favorite animal, so that's not a bird. For elephants, the more elephants you have in a row are going to score you points. So the elephants right now are worth four. Lovebirds are worth two points if they're in a pair. Uh, I think it's two points if they're in a pair. Lovebirds are worth four points for each pair on the board. So lovebirds could conceivably score you a ton of points. Wolves score you two points for each wolf on the outside rim of the, the grid. That one doesn't. So this wolf isn't doing anything, but these two are. Where are the lions? There ah. it is! Lions are worth 11 points minus one for every lion that's in the grid. So the more lions out there, the less they're worth. So right now, lions are worth seven. So we'll pick our starting thing. Seven's okay. Well, you went first, so you will go last. I will go first. When did I go first? Yeah, you just said to go first, didn't you? Yeah, because we were on rock, paper, scissors. Wait, what? And then you cheered about it. Huh. All right. What she won. Right, so she's going last. I'm going first. And you go second. Bitter. All right. I'm just putting a card in front of me. I'm going to play this one smarter. No, you're... Oh, wow. Did you play a card in front of you? No. Then maybe you should not skip her turn. Taking a wolf and putting out an elephant. Ooh. Ooh. Yeah. Ooh. Ooh. Your turn. Mountain. I will also play a card in front of me. Your turn. Interesting. I'm going to take this lion and put a wolf there. What? That's stupid. How's that stupid? I'm not doing the wolves. I don't care about the wolves. Go ahead. Your turn. Aha. Ooh, interesting. There are two pairs of lovebirds on the table. Okay. Violet. I'm going to take this oily elephant and you will never see my cards. This yeah, is not, no, I'm gonna I'm put this stupid. lion there. All right, your turn. No, it's her turn. You are the skipper of the ages. Oh, she put a card down. Go ahead. Now do it. Mountain. Mm. All righty, I'm going to take... Oh, this is terrible. It is? Well, I'm just going to hope. I'm going to take this lion and put out a lovebird. Okay. Oh. Hmm. Your turn. Y you have to place it down with your cards. Interesting. Very, very interesting. Did you say berry? I did. 
I'm gonna take this one, put that one. Okay. Man, I love Your turn. Oh, it's fun. Okay. Hey, Violet. Now you won't be mistaken anymore. Alrighty. Oh. Okay, so we'll start with lions. Lions are seven points because there's four of them. Eleven minus four is seven. Anyone else go for lions? Nope. Three. 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 Why? Wait, who gets four? Me. Me, me, me. No, me, I think me, it's me. round it down. Hang on. Yep, rounding down. We each get three. Okay, so three. Rule book. Got it. Okay, next is uh, elephants. Oh. Elephants are worth eight points. No, 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 no. Oh, well. Eight plus three is 11. I'm very pleased about this. All right, next up is wolves. Wolves have three wolves on the outside. Wolves are worth six points. Three. Ah, one. So you have six points, six to 11 to three. And then... Lovebirds. Anyone love lovebirds? Lovebirds are worth four, eight points. So eight plus six is 14, giving Violet the win once again, having swept all four games in a row. All right. Destroy daddy. High five. You lost too. Exactly. You, you lost want? also. <laughs> How much points did you have? 117. Tell me. All righty, folks. Well, that's it for our live plays. Don't forget the contest that we were running. How many? Um, and um, so we played both of these. That's Animix and Dragomino. Mm -hmm.